13 Lectures on General History of China by Liu Zhang Chapter 6 The Wenjing Age 1 The Integration of Multiple Ethnic Groups The Wei, Jin, Southern and Northern Dynasties were great eras for ethnic groups to merge and harmonize. The scope of merging and harmonization covered most areas of China including the Yangtze River, Yellow River, and Liao River to the north of Mongolia and Lake Baikal. Most ethnic groups in Northern China, such as the Xiongnu, Shanbei, Jia, Di, Chang, and Lu Shuihu established political regimes successively in their own territory. They brought their own social organizational model and cultural customs into central China. The harmonization of ethnic groups resulted in intense alternation to the organizational pattern of both northern and southern Chinese societies. Most separatist regimes in northern China had gone through a phase of Hu and Han differentiated management, Hu Han Fenji, which meant that the governors would manage the residing ethnic groups according to their own regulations while governing the residing Hans according to the Han system within their territories. Although the Wei, Jin and southern states of Han territories inherited the Zhou Junji and adopted similar social organizational systems as the Qin and Han. A special stratum known as Men Fa Shi Zhu, political groups formed by powerful families from senior officials, intellectuals, and armed wealthy landowners emerged due to the expanded influence and power of these noble and regional tyrannical families. Tea drinking was a prevalent custom in both Eastern and Western Jin dynasties. A host should serve the guests tea as proper etiquette. People paid great attention to the aesthetic aspects of their garments in the Wei Jin and Northern Southern periods. Chinese alcohol, made from rice, was another popular drink in those days. Hierarchical marriages were the distinguishing feature of matrimonial norms in the Wei, Jin, Southern, and Northern dynasties. The aristocratic families which were politically influential for generations enjoyed priorities in marital choices. They took ancestry, pedigree, and family status as major measurements for evaluating a person's social status and identifying their value. They tried to maintain the purification of the pedigree when it came to establishing marital relationships. Based on political positions, social fame, and family influence, a rather stable social circle was formed among the southern influential families. Marriages among the Wangs in Langya, in Shandong province, and the Shis and Yuans in Chinjun, near present-day Henan province, were most common. 2. Religious beliefs and philosophy At the time people had strong religious beliefs in the way, Jin, Southern, and Northern periods. Both Buddhism and Taoism had numerous votaries. With the exception of a few emperors, the norm of worshipping the heaven and earth that was standardized during the Qin and Han was not valued in the Wei, Jin, Southern, and Northern periods anymore. On the contrary, Faith in Buddhism and Taoism steadily increased. Taoism constructed its own unique list of gods. Taoist gods did not exceed the traditional concept of the universe. That heaven and earth, the sun, moon, and stars, and the natural elements of wind, rain, thunder, 
storms, mountains, oceans, and rivers all constituted the major gods. During the Wei and Jin dynasties and the Southern and Northern dynasties, the Taoist religion became more sectarian, its thoughts became more systematic, and it began to undergo the transformation from being a folk religion to a fully codified religion. After this transformation, the Taoist religion matured and reached its peak during the Tang and Northern Song dynasties. A few rather influential thinkers appeared, and they provided comparatively ripened tenets for the Taoist religion, along with classics, practice methods, and religious disciplines and rites which laid a theoretical and regulatory basis for the fully matured Taoism. During the southern and northern periods, plenty of Taoist temples were built in famous mountains for worshipping Taoist gods and immortals. Ko Qian Ji, 365-448 AD and Lu Shujing modified some of the ritual ceremonies for Taoist immortals. The Buddha statues in Buddhism included Buddha, Bodhisattva, Dharmapala, and Buddha's saint. The ancestry of gods in Buddhism was neither similar to the Confucian immortals nor the Taoist gods. The major celebrating events for Buddhism were Sakamuni's birthday, the date when Sakamuni became Buddha, and Nirvana festival along with other daily religious services. Buddhist believers would offer fresh cut flowers in the previous mentioned ceremonies. Buddhism was against the killing of livestock, under the influence of Buddhism and Taoism. Non-governmental sacrifices became diversified and various. Superstitious beliefs in monsters were an important part of people's daily lives. <laughs> Mountains, woods, stones, beasts, and birds could all be humanized. Chang Jing Zuo Guai the varied imagination was the artistic reflection of people's perception of nature under the influence of their religions. Society was turbulent during the Wei and Jin dynasties and the Southern and Northern dynasties, 220 to 589 AD. Meanwhile, significant achievements were made in science and technology. Through this period, Cultural thought gradually shook off the constraints of the Han dynasty study of the classics and theology and promoted exchange and reconciliation among indigenous ethnic cultures and then the same. With foreign culture, the metaphysics of the Wei and Jin dynasties represent a new system of thought. The theme of this metaphysics is to have and to have not. It explores the mutual relationship between the opposing categories of changing, the an, and constant, chong. One, yi, and many, duo, origins, ben, and endings, mo, motion, dong, and stillness, jing. In order to enable people to better understand the world as well as to endeavor to reveal the essence of the relationship between nature and human beings. Why do we say that metaphysics as a system of thought is a fusion of Confucianism and Taoism? Its basic ideological origins prove this to be so. The ideological origins of all schools of Chinese metaphysics lie in the Book of Changes, Laozi and Zhuangzi. These three books are referred to as Sanzan, meaning the three mysteries. The teleological arguments regarding the changes in nature found in the Book of Changes, 
Lao Zi and Xuanzi were not contradictory. Some schools of metaphysics were thus able to fuse them reasonably together. These schools of metaphysics dealt with both the way of heaven, Tian Dao, and the way of man, Ren Dao. Attempting to explain these profound concepts in a manner that was easy for people to accept and understand. One school of metaphysics was named the Giwu school, and its representative figures were He Yan and Wang Bai. He Yan, 193, minus 249 AD, whose courtesy name was Ping Shu, was born in Wan County of Nanyang City, in what is now Nanyang City in Henan Province. His surviving books are the collected explanations of the Analects, Lunu Jiji, Commentary on the Tao De Jing, Tao De Lun, and Commentary on the Unknown, Wu Ming Lun. Wang Bai, 226-49 AD, was born in Shanyan, now Jiaozhou City in Henan Province. He was very talented and precocious and died at the early age of 23. His works include the commentary on Laozi, Laozi Zhu, a guide to Laozi, Laozi Jilu, commentary on the Book of Changes, Zhou Zhu, case studies of the Book of Changes, Zhou Luli. He Yan and Wang Bai observed nature and human life. They regarded all changes as having their origins in Tao and believed that Tao was distinct from concrete phenomena. The former was formless or intangible and was hidden in deep, profound places. From this respect, the formless Tao can be named as to have not. This is the essence of everything as well as the origin of the change of everything. As Wang Bai stated, E, very thing is formless. All things come back to one thing. Why? Because of to have not, Wu. Thus emerges a series of opposing categories, namely, one, Yi, and many, Duo, origins, Ben, and endings, Mo. Ontology, T, and epistemology, Yang and to have not Wu, and to have you. The exploration of the relationship between these above-mentioned categories by Wang Bai aids people in their ability to understand essences through observing appearances. Wang Bai thought that the to have not of the essence of the universe was formless and beyond description in precise language. Thus, this perspective was named as ineffable. The various kinds of rites and systems were named as Ming Zhao, which Wang Bai believed to belong to the categories of many, duo, endings, mo, and epistemology, yang. Ming Zhao should not be and cannot be overlooked because back then they formed the lifeblood of society. Thus Wang Bai proposed that Ming Zhao is the exemplification, natural appearance, of the ways human beings behave and conduct themselves in society. Besides, there was another school of metaphysics named the Natural Growth School, which was represented by Shang Shu and Guo Shang. Shang Shu, 227 to 277 AD was born in Henei, now Wuxi in Henan province. Guo Shang, 252 to 312 AD, was born in Luoyang City in Henan province. Shang Shu and Guo Shang were renowned for their interpretations of Zhuangzi. They highlighted the inexorable law and took its logic to extremes, separating it from contingency. Thus, their nature 
refer to the inexorable result of a mechanism, which actually became one form of the doctrine of predestination. Three, the rise and fall of family politics in the Wei and Jin period, family politics increasingly emerged. Family politics refer to the political situation whereby the powerful and influential families penetrated into political affairs and controlled the central government. After the Sima clan overthrew the Sao Wei dynasty, the powerful families known as Shi Zhu became renowned for holding the important posts in the central and local governments within their grip. In the Western Jin Dynasty, the reigning emperors had to rely upon Shi Zhu in order to balance the power of royal families and reign in bureaucracy. In the era of the Eastern Jin, the expanded powers of some families periodically began to challenge the imperial authority. From the time of their succession the emperors of the Sima clan granted land and titles to the members of the royal family. Unfortunately, placing military, political, and fiscal powers into the hands of princes resulted in the War of the Eight Princes, Ba Wang Ji Luan. It was not until the era of the Eastern Jin when the malpractice of the infestment system was gradually corrected. With the rise of family politics, the nine rank of Zhang Zheng system became the sole method for selecting officials in the Wei and Jin and the Southern and Northern dynasties. According to this system, the central government established a post named Zhang Zheng in each local government area, including the provinces and counties. Meanwhile, the posts of Zhang Zheng were controlled by the powerful families. It dictated that the members of the noble families would be the high officials whatever they were virtuous and capable. One from lower families would have no opportunity to be appointed as high officials. The selection of officials depended mostly on the situation of the family. The family-oriented appointment benefited by associating together with the family politics, fostering the control of political power by the Shi Zhu. As an effective system of selecting officials, the nine rank of Zhang Zheng system is not worthy of praise because it was family oriented in nature. In the southern and northern dynasties, fierce conflict between the noble families, Shi Zhu, and imperial power arose. Rotten noble families were gradually regarded as parasites upon the society. They clambered after fame but scorned its responsibilities even though they had been appointed to the important posts which had a high social status without actual duties. As most of the founder emperors in the southern dynasties came from lower status families, they tended to appoint and promote officials who were also born into lower status families to important posts. Their purpose was to exclude noble families.